Was that actually your advice, or are you just like trying to ham fist? I told you so. When I, I this is the first time I hear of it. I thought it was my idea. What do you mean, Pixie's advice? Hmm, refugee ship. Hey, old refugees. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, let's trade. Oh, so very much. Nine fuel. Just what the doctor ordered. I'm sure you have phone... Who the fuck has phone books, militant? This is... this is 2015, you do realize. There are these things called smartphones these days. They... and internet, you know, and things that aren't physical. No, I actually don't. And besides, the pile, even if I had them, the pile would be so big I'd slide off of it and just... faceplant on the desk, it's... It's not gonna work. I'm, if, if it can't be fixed easily, I will consider a bar stool. That's gonna work, but phone books, uh, not so much. Socialize with the crew. Man, they, they, they haven't done a single good thing for me. Let's talk with the humanoid. Mm, none of it is any of any importance. Sometimes they give me quests when I talk to humans. That's a pretty nice thing. A port opportunity to earn some extra cash. Maybe fight a mini boss. Get all ballsy and stuff. Now it would be nice if that store contained some weapons I could buy. So let's jump around to it. Do as many jumps as possible before I hit that store. The rebel fleet is a little bit delayed. So oh, that is a free swarm missile drone. I love it. I cannot have drone controls in this playthrough anymore. I used up all my upgrade slots, but it's gonna be a nice thing for sale. They come with free beer. What? I totally send you over all the beer. An NG body snatcher? What do you mean body snatcher? Live body dissection? No. Uh, no. No, please. Please don't take my silence for a yes. Jesus. Enemy combat drone that I think it looks like an EMP one. Okay, so my O2 is gone. Okay, so I guess kill them fast is the idea. They have a lot of uh, ion, but only a single tiny laser should be fine. I do need to hack their shields, and I will be targeting their shields with my weapons as well. Two hits, I guess it's as good as I can hope for. My biggest problem will be the lack of oxygen, really. As I will fail to kill them fast. Oh, I actually have cluster bombs now. So that's awesome. Three bombs into a single sector, god, that thing is good! I didn't quite realize how good it is until I can see it in action now. Holy shit, that's good. Alright, no more shields for you, buddy. Oh crap, I forgot to retarget something else with it. Oh well, I win. They lose, I still have 30% oxygen. Very nice. Well, they ask nicely to dissect me while I'm still freaking alive. Just because you ask nicely doesn't mean you can get anything you want. All the time. I will be saving all this money in case I get a super weapon or something. And there's no reason not to load up on oxygen. I'm gonna hide. Because it's uncomfortable to my back to kneel like this. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's a sad day for science, but a happy day for bodies that are still alive and non-dissected. Non I'll take that. I'll totally take that. Chalk it up as a win. 
Who's Netrunner Gravekeeper? What do you mean? Is he a guy that beat you at a tournament? Kinda sounds like it. Subject goal, wealth, entry motivation, survival, transfer of goods acceptable. So if you are new to the game, they basically say they want to bribe me to stay alive. I accept your offer of surrender. See, that's a, that's a steep bribe, I love it. Netrunner is a card game. Ah. Tell me about it, Gravekeeper. What? What's exciting about it? First time I hear of it, actually. There's so many of those card games these days. Uh, asteroid fields. Yeah, I got good shields. Salvage what you can from the derelict ship and move on. Like the sound of that. That sounds fair. I can do one more jump before the store. Maximizing my income. A physical card game. Oh, damn. Yeah, those do tend to take all your money. I love it! There's rain! There's an actual rain! And the sun is still shining. Ah, oh, No longer gonna be the hottest day of summer anymore. I don't need to put water all over my clothing. In fact... God, I wanna, I wanna go outside for a moment, I think. I'm gonna go outside for just a moment. And then I'm gonna be back. This is too fun for me to pass up. I do love the good warm summer rain, that was so fun. Welcome back. Yeah, I live in uh, Dembica, between Rzeszów and Tarnów in the southeast of Poland. Unless you live in my town, your rain is different from mine, but it's quite nice. Let's investigate the battlefield over here, nothing here. Alright, that is actually quite uncomfortable for my back. There's something about the angle of my back as I lean against the chair that's just not quite right, so let's go back to standing. Move on, I guess, into the store. See if they sell any awesome weapons. I think I would take a Zoltan crew member as well. I'm not sure. Though no, because I would have to put him in the important position and my crew is already skilled. Why is there no graphics here? Oh, it's an AI avatar, yeah. It's an AI avatar, it does not need oxygen, maximum health is halved. It's a good weapons guy. It's quite cheap, and it's a crew member, I suppose. 
But no, I'd rather take a fourth level of shields, upgrade my stealth, things like that, if I don't like these weapons, but maybe I do. Outdated beam weapon, quite cheap. One damage per room, and I believe it hits only one room. Because it's so crappy. Auto focus beam. Fast charging support beam designed to continually keep enemy ships under fire. Two power, only five. Yeah, this this is crap. Because I I already have a slow weapon. So I need to I need something that'll work in tandem with that. I need something that's slow. This is crap as well. So unless I want the Hasta to fire together with my laser. Which I might want. I might want that. Lowers open cooldown by 10%, protects your weapons targeting from being scrambled. Yeah, yeah. Empty beacon and drone part and I can scout the sector. Not worth it anymore, it's delayed game. I only get one sector after this. I don't even need fuel, I believe. This sells for 40, very nice. Yeah, I've, I've got the money. I think I've got the money to get this and... Uh, but then I, I'm gonna visit other shops. I may get better things than this shit. But what if it hits more than one room? I don't know if it's short. Maybe it's not. Let's take it. It's quite cheap. Let's test it out. But I believe I will be prioritizing a fourth level of shield first, though, rather than upgrading my weapons. It's only 30 more scrap for those shields. Hail, refugees. No trade. Uh, it's just a pirate ship. They're just baiting me. Double shields, though. That's pretty hazardous of you pirates. I'm not gonna hack it. I'm gonna save my, save my stuff and see how... Oh, yeah, it reaches... I can actually get three rooms off of that if I aim it nice. So, that, yeah, that was a good decision. I can do some solid damage with this. And I will stealth on their missile array. Come at me, missiles. I'm gone. Deal with it. Oh, I mistimed my beam. Oh, well, it's okay. I got the artillery. No, it's not okay. Because they're gonna send another missile salvo at me. Can I actually reach the shields now? It's okay. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down! It's actually going very slowly. I need to take that into account when I'm aiming. I get the cloak for the next missile. Very good. What an interesting missile weapon. Alright, good to go, good to go. Yes, uh, Militant, it is healthier. But the problem is I can't do it for extended periods of time, which I suppose does contribute further to my health, but I want to be streaming because this is a really cool game and a lot of people are having fun with me. I just wish I could stream some more. But yeah, it is healthier. And then, after the stream, when I'm just chilling out, I want to sit back and watch some videos on YouTube. I want to watch Bear Taffy play Rocket League, because he's really good and, and entertaining. And I can't relax and watch Bear Taffy if I have to stand and watch Bear Taffy. So, I want to be able to modify between standing and sitting. That's why I have a desk with electronic height controls, but it fucked up. And I can no longer modify the height. In Oava, I've been passing through Oava every single time going to Wrocław to meet my friend Katie. It's a good little town. I was actually thinking of moving there for a while. It's just the right size. To have uh, healthy enough air and some nature to run around in. It has a swimming pool, I believe, or... Am I wrong about that? I, I think it has... I hear it has a nice swimming pool. I was considering for a while, but... Well, before I buy a bar stool, obviously I'm gonna take this electronic piece of shit and either try to replace it at the, at the retailer, 
or take it to an electronics store and ask them if they can fix it. Because the optimal scenario would be to basically just fix this goddamn table. I mean, I paid the, I paid like four hundred dollars for this shit, and there's a ten dollar piece of electronics that fucked up. Surely there's a replacement that wouldn't cost more than a bar stool. Codmind, I oh thanks for the follow by the way. Welcome to the community. I'm glad you followed. From all the ships of the Captain's Edition I played so far, this Federation ship one with the artillery beam is the strongest I've seen so far. There may be a stronger one, but I don't think so. I think this is the best for getting your first win in the Captain's Edition. That sounds really nice. Well, yeah, of course, as in not having a roof and having one. Would be kind of stupid if one of them was just fucking permanently closed and you still told me about it. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, do I help them? Yeah, I'm full HP and I'm hitting a shop soon, probably. And that's a lot of pay. I like that pay. This is, this is as good of a run as I can ever hope for. Maximum shields. Cloaking, hacking, weapons could be better, but I've got this artillery beam that's doing really nice. I'm gonna max out on power soon, which... Yeah, I wish I could have some more power. I think I could actually use a Zoltan just so I can uh, go over my power limit. Zoltans are nice in that way. Enabling you to go over your power limit. Holy shit! I got a virus on my vessel. But I've got improved hacking, I can reprogram the virus. Beautiful. Beautiful! Full point repaired, an upgraded reactor! Oh my god! And I got an augment, improved internal AI. Oh, that virus. I just reprogrammed that shit. Oh man, the hacking was the perfect solution. Uh, that's gonna be for sale, but still. I'm not sure I can make it one more jump, so let's just not risk it. Vanilla, you say? You have- you have FDL on mobile? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? How did you get FDL on mobile? I want that. Now. Is it Android? How'd you get it? I want it so much. Do you have the advanced edition? Shit, still, this is one of the best ships. Actually, the Federation 2 is the best one with the artillery beam, if I remember correctly, the Federation 2. So the ship you're seeing here, except the second version of it, would be the best one. Actually, you could have an Uber NG from that one with already maxed out skill. Yeah, but I already have skilled crew members on every station. So that fifth NG would only be a walking around repairman. I like the payday I've received. Maybe even more. S that's a good trade. It's a good trade. I have too many missiles. What is this fire doing here? How did it get there? On Apple. Well, maybe it's an Android too. Damn, I would love it. I I tried to have XCOM, but obviously it doesn't run. I tried to have Hearthstone, and I don't have enough memory to actually install it. I, I spent an entire evening trying to clean up enough memory to have the 600 for Hearthstone on my main device. And only to realize, only to learn, that after I downloaded that 600 megabytes of Hearthstone, I need another 600 to install the fucking thing, because that was the installation file, so that was bullshit. I tried to root my device or change the default installation path to the SD card, but I failed to do the solution. I could try again, I suppose, but getting Hearthstone on my mobile is not easy. FTLs would probably take less space and processing power, so it should be fine. A civilian sector with a lot of shops would be the best way for me to get more weapons. And I kinda fear I don't have enough weapons. Kinda, but mostly I think I'm doing really good. Let's talk to the humanoid. Yeah, quest marker, beautiful. 
he knows the Federation base in this sector. So let's go right... Ah, oh, fuck, that store's in a dead end. That's a shitty store. I'm gonna ignore it, actually. That's a, la that's a lame thing, but... Oh well. Yeah, I don't want to waste an additional jump. Especially since I don't have money now, so I'd have to waste, I think, two jumps to get to that store. Oh, what? No Android. Oh, just... I'm gonna get an iPhone one day, but I'm spending too much money on equipment as it is just because of my health status. Oh, and, and, and... Nah, fuck it, let's keep, let's keep going. Getting Hearthstone to work on an SD is not possible. The most you can do is port a part of it there. Well, Dunkaro, what I meant was using the installation file from the SD so that the installation file doesn't need to be on the main device. Still installed on the main device, but from the SD maybe. There's, it's, it's fucking messy. It's fucking messy. I guess I'm just gonna wait for, for a few years until the phones become cheaper. And then... Oh, damn! The NG actually optimizes my ship to get me 25 scrap for free. Very nice of you. Well done, I'm proud of you, my NG. Kira, doing a good job over here. Well, it's messy, and I guess... I guess I still have books on my on my Android, and that's just what I should be doing when I'm traveling. I should just read more books and play less games, and it's gonna be fine. Maybe it's for the best in the end. You arrive at the sector to find a small outpost being bombarded by a fully automated cruiser. This must be a Federation base you were told about. Save it! Save it quick! Mantis is destroying my engines, the ones he was supposed to be helping. Okay. Okay. No panic, just pure focus. Hack their shields, it's gonna be fine. They're hacking my piloting, so that's lame. But I'm gonna hack their shields when my weapons are ready. Stealth away from the missile. Hack it. I believe I can hack all three, and then I'm going to open fire on the shields with a burst laser. And the beam is going to hit... I believe their weapons and their hacking. No, the mind control. Let's take out the mind control and their weapons. I mean, mind control and their shields. I'm gonna take a missile in the face, most likely. Ouch, that's the missile in the face. But now I can dismantle their weapons, no problem. Artillery firing as well, beautiful. They have no more hacking, I've got my stealth, they missed with their missile. Hole plating is scattered into space. Nice, yeah, let's loot it later, totally. It's a good, it's a good idea. Oh, what the fuck, how did you get there? How'd you get through all my shields? Never saw that coming. Oh, I could have stealthed earlier if I saw. Oh, very nice. You contact the station? Oh my god, that's great. I'm so happy I talked to my human. The lone survivor. Just wants to hop in. He can't man the station by himself. He repairs my whole backup. I get lots of scrap. And I got a Zoltan. He's a Zoltan. He's gonna... I think power up my weapon. Because if my weapons get a hit, I want a second repairman in there. I know I can keep him in in the sensors, but I then he won't be giving me power. Or will he? Maybe he will. No, he won't. He won't. And I'm not going to swap him with anyone, because he doesn't have skills. I suppose he has one shielding skills? So he could be my next shield master. He would level up to two levels of skill. 
by the time I reach the final boss, I think, and then the energy can be in the sensors, and then I get the extra power and still get my extra sensors, extra sensor power. I like that, I like that. I, I should consider upgrading my doors and sensors, to be honest. I will be able to see the enemy weapons charge. Which will help me time my stealth. And it's only for 25. Makes sense, it really does. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. I got all the main things. I, I need the fourth level of artillery too. I guess that's another main thing I still need. I can sell a lot of missile for scrap. It's a pirate black market though, so I could kill it because it's a pirate. But if he's got stealth and four shields, I would be a little worried. And let's be honest, I'm not gonna need so many missiles. Ah, fuck it, let's kill it, let's kill it. I'm strong now. I'm strong. I have faith that I can do it. Repairman, engage. Together with the Mantis. Hack their shields, of course. I need to damage their shields properly. That's gonna be the key. They bring in more reinforcements to the fight. Stealth now, their big laser is firing. I'm actually... I hacked them too early, damn it. Ah, I hacked them too early, god damn. I barely damaged their shields. My Mantis is a little wounded over here. But I am winning this fight so far, but just so very barely. I can't trust that. Need to retreat to the med bay. Which means what, my hacking will be going down? No, I'm just gonna bring others to the fight. Power down the oxygen because I'm gonna lose some power as the Zoltan is moving around. I dealt some damage. The artillery beam is halfway there. My cloaking is... Fridgy, thanks for the follow, man. Thanks for the follow. Kira, I know, this is a little risky. I know. This is no joke. They have a defense drone. It's just so far away because this base is so big. It's not displayed properly, wow. Okay, they ran away, they ran away. So the Zoltan is gonna fight the last one for now. While the, these two are... And I need my captain to pilot the ship because that's all my evasion. Too bad the rock cannot participate, but he's too far away and I need my weapons to be firing fast. Their shields are actually in a pretty bad place after I shot a cluster bomb. This cluster bomb is incredible. I think the Mantis can go back to the fight. The Zoltan will be tanking for him. My stealth is still down. They are stealthing out, okay. Oh, nice. They teleported into my rock, so he can actually fight. You two heal. You defend the shield room. I need to pause a lot, because there's just too many things happening. Like, I'm mistiming my weapons, probably. No, it's good, it's good. I may want to bomb their... weapons. Because they don't have many shields left. They don't have any shields left. Okay, no more cluster bombs, I'm good. I actually could have used my hack on the shields instead of bringing them down manually. Uh, that's not a good enough offer. Not even close. Are you kidding me? Yup, they're jumping away. Cannot keep up the ground fight. I really like having a fifth crew member for this. Their weapons are burning down. See, not cocky enough. I'm still doing good here. It's not just cocky. It's cocky backed up by skill. No more bombs, good, I don't need them. Yeah, they're going down. Can go back to the stations. 
heal everyone up. And the artillery is bringing them down. What's my reward? 44, and I can stay around for some more free money to grab the debris. Sure, it's going to double the pursuit, but it's like free money. I love it. I love it. Why don't you name your ships the Mind Flayer? Should correspond with your name nicely. And it's one of the more interesting enemies in the D&D. Interesting to say it lightly. Fucking annoying. Hmm. Well, let's grab the Distress. I have so many abilities to be useful. Ignore the store. Actually, I want to look for another store, so I want to go there, where there is the highest amount of jumps that I'm scouting ahead of. Uh, Federation Signal. There's a quest marker for a nearby base. Let's check it out. I think that's going to be a mini-boss mini fight. Lots of money. Lots of money. The Hasta weapon is an outdated beam weapon. Kind of crappy, but works with my build very nicely, because it's slow, and all my weapons are slow anyway. And it's just a a bit of extra damage for only one power, I like it. That never misses. Oh, nice. An outpost is still alive. And he wants to assist me. An engineer and repairman. Lovely, lovely. Those extra crew members will be very important once I hit the... Uh, I think doors. Once I hit the mind control and boarding stage of the of the main boss. It's gonna be very handy there. Okay, max out the Vindicator Beam, I think. And after that, I think I'm gonna max out the hacking. The extra doors would be nice, too. But shit, maybe I should wait and see if... Oh god, I didn't undo it. Well, there is no shops anyway. So I guess it's not a huge amount of harm done. Let's get that distress and then go back to the left, just scouting out if there's any shops in here. Uh, refugees? Yeah, I can transport them. <laughs> Main hold is flooded with refugees. Maximum holding capacity, so you take off... ...quickly. A representative... ...hands me a small amount of scrap. That's, that's not a good compensation. I totally expected more. There is a store here. So let's grab it and then go to the exit. Take the civilian ship, get as much money as I can before I hit the store. My motivation is purely financial here, by the way. Alright, just kill him. I'm, he's in my med bay, I mean, what the hell are you doing here, Ben? What the hell are you even doing here? Uh, I... Well, let's not underestimate them. Let's still hack those shields. No need to mess around. When I can show some respect. I think I can... See, this is why uh, upgraded sensors make sense. I knew I could wait for the second miss out of fire before I activate my cloak and then both will miss. Whereas if I cloaked in preemp preemptively, the missile will just wait until I come out of cloak before it's fired. So this is very nice. And now that their shields are completely messed up, I can open fire on their weapons fully. Actually, weapons, engines, and shields. Pretty sweet. Bring everything down. Oh, and then the artillery follow-up. I love it. Yes, more of them coming into the medbay. You can't handle this. You so very can't handle this. Actually, I can't handle this. By the looks of it, these mantis are actually dealing a lot of damage. Okay, they ran away. No probs. Beautiful. Oh yeah, you always pilot... You would always pilot drunk, wouldn't you? <laughs> After a couple of beers, your 
hands will relax so much, those steering sticks will just flow right with the will of your mind. That's how we're winning. That's how we're winning, Killer Orc. You're making it happen. Drunk driving? Don't do it, kids. Drunk piloting, though? Holy shit, it works. If you ever get your hands on a spaceship, remember to stockpile some beer. Download a space ride. It's a pretty good FTL clone, but you control a fleet. Hmm. What's the combat like? Tell me about the combat. Alright, what kind of weapons do you have? Do you have any weapons that will interest me or not? Nope. Nope. That's crap. That's all crap. And I don't need fuel because I'm gonna get some from the Federation. I guess I'm just going to meet the final boss. Holy shit, it's happening. It's real. It's right here, guys. My weapons are not the best, but my defense is. I suppose I could have defense drones as well, but... Man, it's pretty pretty close to as good as it gets. More free money from the NG. I do wish I had more weapons, but I just couldn't find any that are good. You saw I looked. I guess engines for the dodge. My power's already maxed out. Let's get level 2 stealth. Doors. I do like the doors. Don't exactly have power for everything, and I never will. But if one system gets damaged, I can then feed more power into another, and it'll still be helpful. Zombies, you say? Yeah, let's stay away from there. Just socialize with my... Energy for the scrap? What? Oh, damn. A location of a medical station. Yeah, sure. That's nice. If they can help me. Nah. Nah. Can't get there anymore. Too late. Flack and double hull doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, that's nice. And with the Mantis boarding, that can do it. That can do it. Well done. A small outbreak has occurred. Infection. You know what? I like my crew. I like my crew a lot. And then if I go here, the exit will be taken over. Kinda risky. Why would I risk losing my whole HP? No reason, no reason. Uh, I'm wondering between uh, better hacking. I think better hacking, because bringing down four levels of shield with those 10 second disruptions does sound like a very attractive prospect. And I can still afford the doors, actually. I can still afford the doors. So let's get there, let's get there, let's do that. Super heavy blast doors right there for you. I should put conspicuous pirate markings. Oh my god! It's selling weapons! I totally never saw it coming! If I had any money, if I just saved the money for one more jump. My bad. My misplay. My fuck up. That I need to just take ownership of because if I waited one more jump. I would have had my weapons. Well, let's just shoot him down, I guess. Max out the power to my hack. And with my super heavy blast doors, they will get vented into space before they can get anywhere. And if they do, by any chance, get somewhere, I suppose I will have two crew members waiting for them to fight. Okay, initiate the hack. Need to stealth on the missile and they won't fire a second one, because I'll mess them up. Mm, 
<laughs> nice damage. Yeah, I, I want more scrap than this. They'll go down from the artillery soon. Oh, I could have actually used my beam. Oh well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now I get 50 scrap. <sighs> Which will allow me to level up maybe my O2, maybe. So that it doesn't get destroyed too easily. Or maybe piloting. Piloting also needs to be able to resist some damage. Otherwise I lose my entire evasion. Yeah, I think piloting. Because O2... When I lose O2, the effects of that loss are not immediate in any way. I suppose I can do both. I can do both. Although there are shops in the final battle sector. Maybe I should have considered that and saved something. Yeah, I should have saved my money for here. Should have saved my money all the way until I realized... That. But there's no stores in here this time around. Last time there were. Well, hitting the repair stations gives me scrap. It doesn't only repair me, it gives me scrap, so let's do it. Fuel, missiles, drone parts, very nice. See... I think if I play perfectly I have a good chance of doing it, but I also don't know because this is the Captain's Edition and the boss is stronger than I ever remembered it. Uh, derelict Freighter, I can try to salvage something. Ion Cluster Bomb, that's a weapon. It costs only one, maybe I'll get enough scrap to actually install it. Uh, it's a... Three Ion Bombs. It's just another one of those cluster bombs that I would very much... Oh man, I never sold my internal AI, shit. Never found a shop anymore. Yeah, if I hit a repair station, maybe kill someone as well. I could totally get enough money to upgrade that weapon. Aww. Rebel Marines and combat drones. I can handle it. The thing is, I need to handle it without any losses, so let's make it lossless. I don't need more than one level of cloaking right now. I do like a good hack, I have pretty much infinity of hacking. Oh, I, they didn't fire their laser, my bad. Oh well. Maybe they never will now. Yep, this is a good ship. What can I say? It's a pretty good ship. It's handling things. My biggest enemy is not pausing often enough right now. To... Manage all the chaos. Let's get my fourth weapon operational. God, I wish I had more power, but this is just as much as I can have. What's what's more important, the evade or the... I think the artillery is too important, I cannot give up the artillery power. But maybe the hacking can be given up? Damn, I wish I had more power. Let's get to the repair station. No reason not to get free upgrades. And then this is the last time I ever can spend money before I fight the final boss. What do I want to secure against destruction? I think my stealth. Level 3. If I had less crew members, I would go for the medbay. But I'm kind of stable in that regard. 
engines are kind of too expensive for me to consider. Yeah, let's let's go for the stealth. Actually, the first level of the boss is completely immune to hacking because they have defense drones. So I will want the level three stealth because I'm not gonna be powering up my 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 hacking at all. In the first stage. So, the final battle. You may want to stay around because in five minutes, after I sit down for a while and rest, this run comes to a very dramatic close. Which way will it go though? Can I make it? Can this be the first win? Holy shit, I'll see you soon.